until you can do your job without mistake, I wouldn't be asking for him. That makes sense. Because when we we when we try to be God in a church setting, and we have blocked God from presence, from being in us from our being in his presence. Does that make sense? Because we're not God. You shouldn't be full of yourself. You shouldn't think you have all the answers. I know I don't. Because when you do those things, when you're filled with pride and and arrogance. You know what you are? You're full of baloney. Because nobody's that good. You know, there's an old song, maybe, maybe you recognize it. It's, uh, it's uh, a little boy sitting there, he's eating sandwiches. You know, my baloney has a first name. You remember that? My baloney, he has a first name. It's O S C A L. My baloney has a second name. It's M A Y L. And if you ask me why I would say, senior moment there for a minute. But you know what? It doesn't matter what you call your baloney. It's still baloney. Right? It's still baloney. When you try to judge people, it's baloney. It's for the birds. Right? Leave that to God. That's his job. I challenge you to always be open to those who are given. To be loving to those who would so hate and say, well, that doesn't sound right. I know, it sounds like a Christian to me. Mm -hmm. It sounds like Christ. I, for one, don't want to be filled with one. I prefer steak, but <laughs> that's not here or there. The thing is, is that what we need to do as we go through life is try to emulate, try to be as Christ-like as we can. And if we do that, if we share love, if we share grace, if we share mercy, not only will we be a welcoming church, we'll be a place where people can experience God every Sunday in a time of worship. And, then, and you probably have heard the, the saying that we're the hands and feet of Christ. You heard that? That we as Christians are the hands and feet of Christ in this world. And if we're going to be the hands, then let's let them be open hands. Let's let them be open hands filled with God's love. And all God's people said, Amen. <laughs>